Hi there. Um, we're going to talk today about the master in transfusion medicine and cellular and tissue therapies. And my name is uh, Jaap Jan Swaginga. I'm the LUMC, Director of Education of this master. And I'm a clinical hematologist, but also a transfusion specialist. Um, in the presentation, in the coming 10, 15 minutes, uh, we're going to explain these different subjects. And there are two uh, moments where I will answer your questions. Um, uh, and you can fill them in in the Q&A um, 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 uh, part of the, of the streaming uh, platform. So please do that, and um, I can personally answer you uh, in an interactive way in a few moments. So why a master in transfusion medicine and cellular and tissue therapies? Well, I'm going to explain later a bit about what blood transfusion medicine is, but blood transfusion medicine, uh, the classical blood transfusions, uh, is very well known, but we have to keep on stimulating evidence-basedness of uh, what we do, and by that, minimize the risks for all. But the further subject we are going to deal with in the master is to understand and to develop the extremely promising regenerative and immune modulatory potential of cells and tissues. So what is transfusion medicine and why is it important? And I think we have to realize that we can divide it up in three different areas. The first one is the classical blood cell transfusions. And if you're a blood donor or you've ever experienced a family member or a friend getting a red blood cell transfusion, you know exactly what this is all about. And blood cell transfusions are really important that they are there. They prevent death after trauma. They help in complicated obstetrics where sometimes a mother loses a lot of blood. But they also, the normal classical blood cell transfusion, they allow us to do complicated surgery, like cardiac surgery. And lastly, blood cell transfusion enable us to do cancer treatments. When we give chemotherapy and the blood production is stopped temporarily, we have to have blood cell transfusions to at least ensure the best quality of life for our cancer patients. The second field of blood of transfusion medicine is stem cell transfusions. And of course we know the stem cell as being able to build a complete human being from conception to birth. But stem cells remain present also in us when we are growing up. And the most famous example of success is, of course, the hematopoietic stem cell, which resides in the bone marrow and which is used every day, hundreds of thousands of times now already, for transplanting bone marrow cells back to a patient which, for example, has cancer and get the hematopoiesis back again. But stem cells are also present in the rest of our body and they conceptually can be used to regenerate almost all tissues, like the gut, like a liver, like the brain and the neuro neurological system. So adult stem cells have a great potential for regenerative uh, therapies. The last field which is very fastly developing is transfusion uh, of immune cells. And a first example is the tolerance-inducing immune cell. And they, at present, are also used uh, in our center to, for example, curing type 1 diabetes mellitus, which is an autoimmune disease. The body is not tolerant against the eyelids of, eyelids of Langerhans in the, in the pancreas, and its tolerance needs to be re-established. But also in colitis ulcerosa, which is also an immune um, a disease of the gut, Tolerance-inducing cells can have great potentials to, in the end, cure such autoimmune diseases. And the last example is when you need an organ transplant, uh, rejection is always a risk, and tolerance-inducing cells could reduce this uh, rejection of organ transplants. The last a very exciting example of immune cell transfusion is immune activating cells, which can directly combat cancer in a very specific way. 
and you must have read about these CAR T cells, which are now an immense success in curing uh, patients which otherwise would die. So with these examples, it is maybe clear already why a master in transfusion medicine and cellular and tissue therapies. And another reason is, of course, that expert education in these exciting fields is limited, and it's needed. We need this expert education to acquire necessary knowledge and skills to work in these fields. And what is especially also fun is that we, by this master, form educational networks between you as maybe future students, students which have finished the course, and the expert teaching staff. And this educational network can be prolonged into your career and is, I think, of great value. So why a joint master degree? As Leiden University Medical Center and University of Leiden, we already work in a long time collaboration with the University Autonoma in Barcelona. And it's already one of the strongest international partnerships to disseminate this kind of knowledge. Because the master, the present master, is based on an already proven, successful and highly profession-oriented multidisciplinary and international program, which is running, which has been running for the last five or six years. So there is experience. Words about the curriculum. Um, in total, it's a 60 ECTS uh, curriculum divided up in two years. And we specifically on purpose did that because a 30 ECTS uh, per year uh, is combinable with, uh, for example, uh, a job which you already have or another study which you're already presently doing. So it's a part-time 30 ECTS per year. Um, and the curriculum looks uh, uh, like this. Uh, we start with a nine ECTS module blood donation in which every aspect of blood donation uh, is dealt with. After that, a nine ECTS module follows on how blood transfusions uh, uh, should be given and to what patients and how safe and how that can be done safely in, in, in clinic. Uh, the immunohematology uh, module after that of 9 ECTS is about uh, what aspects of the immune system play a role in um, uh, infusing and modulating cells um, uh, like in our, um, in our master has been, uh, is, is being dealt with. Uh, then a, uh, a 12 ECTS uh, module on cell and tissue therapy, uh, in other words, the regenerative part of stem cells, for example, building new livers, for example, restoring an injured eye, is divided up in the first year, three ECTS part and a nine ECTS part in the second year. Then year two um, is followed by uh, project management in the blood bank and tissue bank uh, module, and then a very important part, the master thesis. The master thesis is really the opportunity for you to specialize or personalize your own um, um, uh, interest in this kind of fields. For example, it can be a subject which is currently playing in your uh, company or in your research group, but and it can or it could also be a subject which preludes uh, to a further career wish um, uh, you have uh, and. Uh, uh, so the master thesis writing is uh, a great way to personalize your study for your own purposes. In total, 60 ECTS. So this is a bit about um, the blood donation. I just told you, promoting donation, donation procedures, etc. Uh, the blood transfusion um, um, module on the quality indicators for preparing blood components. And you can read uh, the other subjects the immunohematology um, uh, module, uh, I told you about the theoretical basis of the immune system, um, uh, the diseases of the immune system, uh, how you can uh, find and diagnose the, these uh, diseases, etc., etc. The cell and tissue therapy and tissue banking um, module will give you the basic concepts of cell therapy, uh, the different um, regenerative medicine um, therapies which are currently developed, and it's a highly um, 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 uh, state-of-art uh, um, uh, module. Project management in a blood and tissue bank is also very much needed for uh, 
being uh, uh, in a profession after your master, for example, to lead uh, a transfusion lab. And uh, this module will also uh, give you the competences uh, for this kind of careers you might wish to pursue. And this is about the master thesis again. A topic should, of course, be directly related to transfusion medicine of cellular and tissue therapies, but it can be really personalized. You write a paper and you will present and defend this orally by a video conference for a forum of experts. So all in all, you see that our curriculum really gives you in-depth theoretical knowledge, but also practical skills like giving a presentation, writing a paper, et cetera, et cetera. And, and you are guided uh, by experts in the field of each module. And I've told you there are very many opportunities to personalize your learning goals just for you. So in summary, it's a joint degree of two great universities working together already a long time and having great experience in teaching these kind of subjects. It's 60 ECTS, but it's two year part time. It is really 100% online, so you can combine it with your present activities. There are 50 places for students. Uh, they're divided up in a Spanish track and an English track. Uh, of course, all uh, educational materials are in English. And the assessment methods, uh, methods are really competence-centered. So what kind of jobs could you pursue after this master? And it really prepares you for example careers in blood supply organizations, uh, hospital transfusion services, but also uh, for jobs in private institutes and pharma in the sector. And they're presently very much involved in cellular therapies. You could work in research groups or lead them and of course in regulatory agencies which uh, uh, very thoroughly monitor all activities in, in our fields. So what kind of students? And I hope you are one of these students. We look for graduates and professionals from different areas of health and life sciences uh, who wish to acquire or update their training in transfusion medicine and uh, the advanced cell therapies. And I really like this quote of, uh, of uh, one of our students, uh, this master degrees, uh, the teaching material is up to date and written by highly qualified professionals and tutoring is constantly available because it's online, you can study in your own time and it's really well worth it. So I like that quote and uh, we live up to that. About the admission and application, uh, you should at least have an official bachelor's degree in medicine, pharmacy, biomedical sciences, biology, or equivalent areas. And if you doubt about whether you have an equivalent area, bachelor's degree, you can write us because all admissions are reviewed by the master's degree committee. So important dates. Um, the 1st of February next year, uh, pre-enrollment starts. Uh, Mid-September application deadline, 2023. Uh, and the 23rd of October uh, next year, the program starts. And for the most up-to-date information, you can keep checking the uh, University of Barcelona website. Uh, and then it's time for maybe uh, new questions. There is one question, if you scroll down a little bit, uh, will the course of this master be 100% online? Yes, um, but, um, but of course uh, we will interact also uh, by, um, by teams or by Cultura um, um, uh, web um, programs and software to really interact uh, with each other. So it's online uh, uh, partly by chat, uh, materials you can uh, view on your own time and there are of course time slots that you can um, discuss with your fellow students and us as uh, supervisors uh, what we have learned and what our conclusions are. Uh, presentations will be given online um, also to each other uh, to uh, at least um, uh, have each other um, um, uh, benefit from um, experiences uh, from your each and own fields. So uh, it is online 
uh, which, uh, which enables you to stay at home, uh, but it's very interactive. Other questions? Uh, oh, Eline Hogeboom uh, asks, is the study numbers uh, fixed? Um, we can find a way, but we want to have not very many more students than 50. So if you decide this is one uh, a master for me, please enroll. Uh, because that will ensure your place. Mallory, um, a BFW bachelor, uh, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, biopharmaceutical uh, sciences, yes. Yes, the master is available for uh, students with that bachelor, yeah. I'm, I, I should conclude. Uh, so I hope if you are curious, and who isn't maybe, about curing cancer, because cellular therapies are doing this at the moment very effectively. If you are curious about curing autoimmune diseases, this is the first that we are considering this. Instead of giving corticosteroids, for example, we are really now uh, at the brink of um, curing autoimmune diseases by tolerance-inducing cells, or you're interested and curious in about repairing damaged tissues, because stem cells can just do that. I think this master of transfusion medicine and cellular and tissue therapies is a great program for you to get this knowledge and to advance careers in this field. If you would need more information, the 1st of December, we will also inform you about uh, an online information session. You can, of course, read everything at your own ease at our website, stated um, here. And what is also very much fun, also for me and uh, the team which is behind this uh, uh, great master, is that you just mail us at mt3 at lumc.nl for just talking things over uh, privately uh, in, uh, in our own um, uh, way. So this more or less concludes our uh, session. Very many thanks uh, for being here.